Welcome back to my channel where we dive into everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Salt Lake City, Utah. Today we're tackling the age old question, should you buy a house now or should you wait? It's like trying to decide between eating your favorite dessert now or saving it for later. Tough decision, right? But first, my name is Marvin Alvarado, the sneakerhead realtor here in Salt Lake City, Utah. If you're looking to relocate to Salt Lake City, or simply looking to buy your first home, or is looking to sell and upgrade to a new home, please give me a call. My contact information is below. You can call me, text me, or email me. You can also book a call with me directly down below. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have, and I look forward to hearing from you and helping you out with your real estate needs. Now let's get into the video. The biggest mistake some buyers can make is trying to time the market for the perfect time to buy a home, which is nearly impossible to do. The housing market has been a wild roller coaster ride lately. Uh, prices skyrocketed during the pandemic, and the Federal Reserve's inflation containment efforts sent mortgages soaring like a bird who just discovered Red Bull. But don't fear, because it's time for buyers to rise and shine. Home prices have been showing signs of decline in Marin in many areas, like Seattle, San Francisco. And guess what? More than 30 other metro areas are predicted to favor buyers by the end of the year. That means you might be able to snag your dream home without breaking the bank. In Salt Lake City and the Salt Lake City area, we haven't seen much of a decline like some other areas or some other states. Um, well, there still are some great opportunities for buyers out there. Um, we're seeing multiple offers again on some of the homes listed um, and selling for over asking price. But wait, there's always a but in real estate. What if you're worried about rates going up even higher? What if you're afraid of missing out on that recession-induced price drop? Don't panic and just take a big breath. First things first, let's talk about buying now. If you've got ex excellent credit, a good job, and you're planning to settle down in your new home for a while, buying now could be a smart move for you. Plus, you'll start building equity right away. Who doesn't love the sound of that? But hey, if you're a patient soul who wants to wait for those mortgage rates to take a dip, I don't blame you. It's like waiting for your favorite show to drop a new season. Anticipation can be exciting. Lower rates can make a big difference in your monthly budget and long-term savings. Imagine having an extra $150 each month to spend on an, you know, eating out or just your you know, guilty pleasure. But remember, nobody has a crystal ball to predict interest rates. We can't predict the future with certainty. If you're considering buying a house and have been on the fence about it for a couple years, it may be in your best interest to take advantage of the opportunities that the current market has to offer. Waiting to buy a house could cost you if you have to pay more uh, monthly if interest rates go up, or you have to pay more for the initial you know, price of the home because of competition if interest rates come down, if you do decide to wait. At the end of the day, it all comes down to your personal and financial situation. Waiting has its pros and its cons, but waiting could also cost you a significant amount of money. I hope this information has been helpful for you. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content on everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Salt Lake City, and I'll see you on the next one.